Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is another group collab with what I'm deeming us to be the collab squad. Um, even videos that I've not collabed with, people in the group are still collaborating and everything, so I'm just going to call us the collab squad. We have a group chat and ever since our conspiracy palette collab, we're all still chatting and talking about future collabs, so I'm just going to deem us the collab squad. But Sarah had given us the idea to do an anti-Valentine's Day look, and this is the look I ended up coming up with. Everybody is so talented, I can't wait to see everybody's looks. You guys definitely need to go subscribe to everyone and check out their channels if you didn't do that from the first time we collabed. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to just do regular makeup or if I wanted to incorporate like a skull with it, and I ended up doing love socks with skull teeth that are hearts. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I've already started off with applying my foundation as I do in all of my face painting looks. And I've gone in and started applying some of my bronzer already. Spoiler, this is the one in my use up in 2020, so you guys kind of got a little sneak peek at where we're at right now. Um, but I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Uh, I think that's what this one is, the milk chocolate one, and just go in a little more. And I know like even with stuff getting covered up when I do face painting, I still like to get a full like base on first. Um, that's just personal preference. I know some people do like the face painting and then they'll do the regular makeup because they don't want to waste the makeup if it's not going to be seen, but I just like working on an even -er canvas. <laughs> Alright, so then I'm going to take the Ofra Pro Palette and go into the Pink Satin Blush and I'm just going to use the same brush. And then I'm going to take the Winter Rose Glow shade as well and go on top. And then I'm just taking my powder brush and just going over a little bit because it's a little bit bright and I can always go back in later. I just want to get an idea of what I want my base to look like. Because um, honestly, like anybody who knows me, even I think I've said it in videos, like I really never have any idea of where I'm going with a look. I don't really plan anything out. I kind of just sit, pick up product, and just go with it. So like... I really have no idea how this look is going to turn out. Alright, so now I'm just taking my Benefit Cup Brow and I'm going to do both of my eyebrows. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like half and half skull or if I'm going to do like a skull on the bottom. Yeah, we, we will, well, obviously you already know because you saw the intro, but I don't know yet. So, yeah. <laughs> So next I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my BA Cosmetics 139 brush. I'm just going to prime my lids all the way up to the brow bone. So for the eyeshadow we're going to dip into this colored rain palette first. This is the Lovelies palette and we're going to be taking it daydreaming here. So now I'm going to go into the Unicorn Party palette from GLF Cosmetics and my friend Jess, J Does TV. This is her palette in collaboration with GLF and it's just so cute, it's so colorful. The mirror is a freaking unicorn, like, 
so cute. So we're gonna be taking the shade Fun. So my camera stopped recording. Um, I took a little bit more of daydreaming, buffed out the shadow a little bit, and I did love, love just on my finger and packed it on. Next, I'm gonna take Romance. All right, so for the nose, I don't know how well it's picking up right now, but I kind of went for a broken piece in between just to make it look like an upside down broken heart. Now I'm gonna try to do some teeth, but I'm gonna try to do like heart teeth.
Okay, so I popped on some lashes and now I'm gonna go back in with fun. Um, just a little bit more and bringing it out, especially on the inner corner there. Just really smoke out this lower lash line. And then I want to add High Cutie as an inner corner highlight. For face highlight, we're going to go in with Fortune from the Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac palette. Alright, so I do want to add some tears, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of fake blood. Alright guys, so that was it for how I got this Skull anti-Valentine's Day look. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notifications. You guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!